door. We are ready to rock and roll. Even Gabby comes to watch Sophie's lessons. She's doing hay. She's doing hay. <laughs> Lucky. Doing hay first. All right, let's go, Stormy boy. <laughs> Do you guys know notice the new thing we put into the arena to make it friendlier? <laughs> My dog. <laughs> Uh, Sam raked to the arena the other or yesterday I think again after that big rain and now that we've been using it it's looking like better and better. While you're walking I want you to come up here across the diagonal over the pool and I want you to steer them off your leg. So look where you want to go turn your body and use your right leg and push them. Good. Good job. Right leg, push them over, make them go straight. Good job. When he starts to drop his shoulder and cut the corner, you need to stand him up. Excellent. Left leg turn. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now. This is who we are And I just know Things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know And Western Pleasure is that you want to keep your horse on track Essentially, you're going to tell him where he's going to put his foot and how he's going to put it there. So as soon as he st stops going in a straight line or he starts to drop his shoulder, you need to catch that with a leg. So when he tries to turn the corner too soon, inside leg says, no, we're going straight. So Sophie's saying that he listens really well to her leg and if she just touches him with her, her leg, he moves over. And so I was saying how like Gabby trained him so well to be to move off of her leg. And I was talking about how when we like me, he knows if I have leg, that means move off. Lucky you had a good sister yeah, that she did everything. Used to ride Storm English and every single time they put their feet on, their legs on, he would always throw his head. And I know that that's not gonna fly in Western. So I asked her, like, why like how how is that gonna change? And she said that that in English you put your stirrup so much shorter and when the girls put their leg on it's up higher like around their rib cage but in Western because the stirrups are lower and when you put your leg on you're coming up underneath the belly which is a totally different feeling for a horse and obviously it's not going to be as as uncomfortable for them coming up underneath the belly versus a shorter stirrup and kids riding where their legs are up higher on the on the horse's belly. I found this so interesting. I found this whole concept so interesting because I used to worry so much about how Storm would always throw his head and throw a fit every time they put their their leg on him, and now it makes so much more sense to me. Gabby, oh my gosh, this horse, like he hears her voice and goes insane. Like literally she's tacking him up. He doesn't even do anything. All of a sudden he hears her, 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 to her voice. See, he always has to look at her. Here's her voice. He hears her voice and poof, his ears go to the, like looking for her. I bet you don't even know my name, but that's okay, I can't. Rising trot. You've got better his speed, not yours. Kissing strangers when you go out Spending time with all your friends Wish I had the guts to ask you out Storm loves going slow Sometimes. Storm's like, how did I leave this house and they wanted me to go fast and now I came back and they're letting me do whatever I want. The trainer actually mentioned that this is Storm's preferred speed. Then I would laugh with you Take my chance and hold you close And I'm 
follow you back home If I could be somebody else I would be your Romeo And I would never So she wants her to really focus on steering her, him with her legs and not her hands. So um, Gabby just arrived to the arena and this is Storm's first time around uh, uh, since she's arrived. And as you can see, he wants to go to Gabby. He sidestepped a little bit towards Gabby and is like, I'm going to my mother. Looking up, turn your body where you want to go and follow through with your leg, not your rein. There will come a time that you need to learn to ride with your reins, but for, for right now I want you to learn to ride with your legs and then we'll finesse the hands. So I asked her about um, her riding in a shank bit and she has to do that when she's riding in a schooling show and she said that yeah, any horse that's over the age of five has to have a shank bit. breathe and don't grab his face. You have to learn to regulate that without your hands. Don't forget to relax your legs like wet sp spaghetti noodles. Allie, get out of there. Come on. She's very mindful of the horse. Look up, little left leg. Touch him with it and then take it off. Touch him with it and take it off. If you touch and hold, he should canter. So if you so if you want him to move over, you're just gonna touch him and every step he takes, he's gonna move over. That is a lovely job. I asked about the bridle and the reins and she said that he can ride in any western any western bridle and make sure to get the split reins which i already knew and then she said we're going to keep riding them in the snaffle until she is ready for him to go into the western bit into a soft western bit she also suggested that we reach out to his old western owner and ask her what she schooled storm in so that we already have an idea of what he's comfortable in and what he knows Left leg touch, touch, good, grow tall. As soon as his nose leaves, leaves, that's when you want to touch him. And that just brings his nose right back in. And again, he's going to drift towards his mom. Take <laughs> Every time. There's my girl. I'm going there. <laughs> He really wants it. And she rides him. They just fight the whole time because she's like, do what I want. And he's like, no, do what I want. But then he still wants her. A little tiny breath, just a little one and grow tall. Tighten your thighs a little bit to slow them down and then just relax them. Loose spaghetti legs and tighten your belly muscles. Oh, girl. You're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's so oh, he, Gabby tried. So he was gonna try and go to Gabby again, but Sophie got smart and she asked him to turn sooner so he didn't have the opportunity. She met, she said that for most horses. This gait requires a lot more muscle and it's more difficult for a lot of horses and that storm, that our horse, naturally prefers this gait. 
grow tall and tighten your core. Tummy muscles are tight all the time. And you should feel a one-two swing in your hips, but not side to side. We're gonna go across the diagonal, touch and turn. I'm crazy. It's just the way that I get every time that I am with you. Your laughter takes me to heaven. I just wanna make you repeat it and repeat it again. Yeah, you make the sky so blue. No, nothing's complicated. Tight, tall in your upper body and tight through your core. Don't touch your reins, use your leg. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we wanna do. And he can't put his head down because he needs reins. your legs. The most range you can use is touching him with your outside rein on the neck. That's it. So Sophie is riding on the buckle. She's not having any kind of contact at all. Look up where you want to go. Turn your belly button. And lay your rein on his neck and outside leg. At least we circled this time. Try a cir circle around that blue tire. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? Good. And now just breathe out to a walk. No rains at all. She just breathed out and he slowed down and went into a walk. Turn 90 degrees to the left. And now walk straight across the arena. See how nicely he turned off your leg there? Now turn 90 degrees to the right, towards the posts. Lay your rein on his neck. Great. There goes Ellie, look, she's a racehorse. This dog has to come out and play all day just to sleep at night. You're gonna ask him to halt, lean back in your seat. Wow. We're gonna see if he remembers this without too much rain. We want him to back up, so shorten your reins a little bit. So until we get him used to this, you're gonna bicep curl your reins up, like you're lifting his, like you're lifting his shoulders up. Close your leg, close your legs, and he should back out. <laughs> And now drop your hands and let him walk forward. So the so did you have to pull hard? Better he gets at this, he'll start to recognize as soon as you sit back in the saddle and close both of your legs, he'll start to go backwards. And until we teach him those things or remind him, he's going to need a little bit of rain to do it. Because 
when you ask him to go forward, obviously you close both legs. And when you ask him to go backwards, you close both legs. The thing that we're changing is that you're leaning back in your seat. You're using your seat to lean back, which is why we don't want to slouch when we're riding because when we ask him to back up, it's kind of like a slouch. This moment can always stay here forever. 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 She looks like a bunny. This is good for him. So if any bunnies come running out of the field, so he looks a lot more Western when you're here. Well, she keeps forgetting to go slow. Like she lets him go slow, but she's more like driven. She, it's hard for her to, yeah, more relaxed, I guess is the right thing. Like she forgets that, cause she's so trained to do different. Okay, now we're gonna weave the tires. Start turning now, outside leg. Lay your rein on his neck. Can't pull him, you can push him only. Yes, good. Good, start turning him um, before you get to the tire. <laughs> Storm chooses this second to finally listen. Usually it takes him a few minutes to listen, so she wanted her to turn before she got to the tire, but Storm chose this time to listen actually the second that she said it, so they missed the tire. Outside leg, outside rein. Push him over. So don't hold, use your heel like you're bumping, not squeezing. Wait for it to happen. If it doesn't happen right away, don't go back to your old methods. Wait. I'd rather you miss it and get the turn eventually. Using your bodies. Using your body. This is something that Sophie's going to have to relearn. She's retraining her more than she's training him. Pulling is so much easier than than pushing for Sophie because that's what she, how she used to ride. your hands forward eyes on the green tire belly button on the green tire left rein on his neck left leg tap 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 good now leave him alone for a second Good, now go down and we're gonna go across the diagonal. Let me through, let me know a piece of you. Oh, what a perfect thing to do. Now turn left, turn your belly button, turn your eyes. Now relax. Grow tall, no slouching. If we try them, we can do it like no other couple. Feel your seat bones walking in the saddle. Forever after, before this place was full of holes and empty rooms. A life forgotten, long lost, ten shades of blue. But now a shed of light, someone to hold. A story seldom told. A little piece of. If we put our past behind, then we could start a future. If we try, then we can do it like no other kind. So this is the part that Sophie has trouble with, the transition. Um, so when you ask him to lope, put your, your heel under his belly. So put your foot underneath his belly and lift up his belly until he... Jump into the, into the lope that he does, which I love. She it's always is afraid that he's like getting ready to like do something sassy, but that's just how he goes into it. He's wow. probably gonna always give you that big hop. So you just relax into that saddle, feel the rhythm in your butt cheeks. So he's gonna do the big hop, but then he's gonna slow down to nothing. 
So if we had the biggest trouble, like this is something that she really needs to work on is the, is the transition into the low. It was so nice, Sophie. The late night barbecue Zipping on a genie juice Cruising down the road No thought getting old The girls are hot but the beer is cold Yeah, that's the way we roll Bathing in the sun On the beach having fun I never shy away from a good time Coming on Friday night I see my friends and feel alright There ain't no stopping us from having fun There ain't no cloud inside The future is love 